it's Mark from Baylinks and today I'd like to speak to you about shear pins, the job they perform and how to change them. Uh, firstly, the job they perform is to protect your cement system. On our truck we have two shear pins. One is located right in your clutch assembly. If you open the door you'll be able to see this one. Your second one is located just off your drive chain on your main sprocket. And same again, if you open the door there you'll be able to see that one. Firstly, how do you change them if they're broken? If you first of all put your clutch assembly into neutral, for your top shear pin, your two arms will be able to move freely. Uh, you should be able to just put them back in line. Once you put them back in line, you can tap out the halves of your old shear pin and put the new one in. Uh, there is grub screws that hold it in place, and these, I would like to stress, are with an eighth Allen key. So make sure that you have an 8th Allen key in your tool kit on the wagon. Uh, your lower shear pin is held just by one grub screw at the rear on the arm. You'll need to undo this grub screw to release it. And it's probably more advantageous if you tap the arm round to locate it and put it back in line again. And finally, just don't forget to carry a supply of shear pins with you in the wagon as it's always going to be when you haven't got them that you will break one. Thank you.